everybody. Damon at Greenhorn Gardening. Part of seed saving. Seed saving. Saving seeds. It's a good idea. Pillowcase, trash bag, whatever. Grew out some turnips. You've probably seen these on various videos earlier in the year. But I saved some turnip seeds. You just take them, you put them in a bag, whether it be most, a lot of seeds you can do this way. Some people beat them like that, you know, whatever. And then you just take them out. You have plenty of seed. All right, let me show you. You see all that right there. That's just beat up stuff. This is going to go, guess where? That's right, into the compost pile. If we get down a little bit deeper, see all that seed there? So these are the husks and the pods that the turnip seeds were in. But guess what? All the seeds right down in there. Plenty of them. All you need to do is just here we go, turnip seeds, ready for planting. Now we may plant these in some of our upper beds this year. We may not, I don't know, I haven't decided what I want to do. I'm doing less and less with the raised beds and more and more with the buckets and with the aquaponics system. But uh, something like seed saving is a good thing. Went to a, I heard an, uh, an excellent lecture on uh, seed saving. And... Um, you know, the great thing about saving seeds is that once you buy your seeds, you, you just, you know, once you, oops, excuse me, it almost hit my eye. Once you buy seeds, you, you can you can save them and you don't have to keep buying seeds every season. Uh, it's, and, and if you're going to go into seed saving, if you're really interested in saving seeds, you're better off purchasing the open pollinated varieties of seeds. So that you can have, you know, open pollinated seeds. It's almost like open source seeds, right? You know, and that's really a, a great way to think about it. It's like open source seeds. Um, and um, I did an excellent interview with uh, Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. And uh, that's their entire, that's the reason I like them. Because they sell open pollinated seeds. And they are big on teaching people to save their own seed it takes a little bit more time a little bit more planning because you're gonna have to let the plants grow out but the good thing is that my goodness do we have a lot of seed here and this is only from a handful of plants and we'll just go take this and put it in the compost pile or just we we'll probably won't put it in the compost pile we may in, in fact just uh, put it in and around these buckets like so and the worms will eventually break it down and it'll be fine. You know, like that, you know, doesn't take much. And until so there you go, you know, a little lesson there on seed saving. Uh, especially saving uh, turnip seeds. That's how I do it. That's how my mom showed me to do it. And that's how I'm teaching you to do it. Check out greenhorngarning.com forward slash claim on the, to figure out the, you know, find that right way to make and use organic fertilizers. The very organic fertilizers I use to grow the plants to actually uh, collect these seeds. Okay. Talk to you guys later.